Did y'all see that Conor McGregor wants to, is going to fight Manny Pacquiao? I thought Manny Pacquiao was about to fight uh, Jake Paul. <laughs> no, that's Floyd Mayweather. Or Paul Logan, I mean. Logan Paul. Or Lo- there you go. Yeah, yeah, George, George Paul. Paul. Yeah. No. <laughs> George Paul. <laughs> uh, no, yeah, so Conor McGregor is going to fight Manny Pacquiao, and I don't know if y'all saw this, but uh, McGregor... <laughs> He also posted, like, a bunch of uh, personal IMs between him and Dana White about how, like, Conor McGregor was trying to get scheduled for, like, multiple fights this year, but, like, they couldn't make it happen early enough, and that's why he retired. So, Conor McGregor didn't retire because he didn't want to fight anymore. He retired in retaliation against the UFC because Dana White couldn't get him fights. Well, he's done this, like, three times now. Right. Well, and this also just proves, like, the moment he retired, we all knew he was going to come back, right? So, like, after this thing with Manny Pacquiao where he's going to make a stupid amount of money he's just gonna go back to the ufc once he's able to get the fights that he wants yeah. why is he gonna fight manny well, they're, I think they're doing for, uh, charity. is it for charity well, oh that I, makes I know, me feel even better I that's cool manny is uh giving all of the money away his money away manny is yeah well, i mean that he's done that before hasn't he so, so yeah but he's manny's that. gonna beat his ass though yeah that's what i think too i thought so too yeah. Bro, like, Manny, Manny so. legit Bro, will beat so it. Well, look, I'll tell you this: be it'll real. be better than the Mayweather fight. Floyd, there'll be some nah, contact. Hold in this on, one. though. Hold on, though. So I watched that fight too. Floyd started whipping his ass. Like Floyd was about to start beating the fuck out of him, and then the ref kind of did whatever. Manny off the rip that was gonna like beat the shit out this dude. Do you think that with that kind of approach, though, McGregor could like? McGregor gave uh, no. Mayweather a tougher fight than Pacquiao did. Bro, I'm telling you, I, I feel like... <laughs> he hit him more times. I think... Like. So, I would pick Floyd over Manny, but I think in this fight, Manny will destroy him yeah, way Manny's worse than win. Floyd could have. Manny's going to beat the shit out of him, though. It doesn't mean anything, though, really, yeah. right? Just, he, and no, it doesn't this is a, it's, it's a publicity thing. It's like an yeah. exhibition match. Yeah. Yeah. She wants the money. Manny about to uh, whoop his ass, bro. You think Connor going to slide? I hope Connor wins. Bro, yeah. if, if Connor oh, <laughs> if he y'all. slides Manny, I'd be like, don't we'll nobody ever talk to me about yeah. Manny we'll better it. than Floyd ever. If, be if Connor we'll, we'll come out and beat, and, watch it. and beat his ass, bro, I don't ever want to hear a Floyd Manny comparison if that happens. True but, that. Yeah. And did you see that? Um, <laughs> did you see that John Jones made a post on yeah. uh, social talking yep. about how funny it would be if he came back to just win his belt yeah. back? He said, "Would y'all be sorry for what? Like the fourth if time I came back and, and, If I came back and got my belt." And and how I many of us, how many of us doubt that he couldn't do it? Like he would, I, right? I mean, he'd beat, um, he'd beat that guy. He would he'd, just walk in and beat his ass, right? He'd smash anybody. He's not gonna do it though. He said uh, he, he's focusing on new things now. Oh, so he legit was just joking? Yeah, he was just messing. Oh, around. I thought he was serious. I thought he was um, like, all right, well it's time. <laughs> he's gonna go to heavyweight, so we'll see what happens. He's what? He's going to heavyweight. Like, oh, so he's coming back though. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he's not retired or anything. He just oh, okay. he wants to. Um, he felt like he was done with that division, so. Hmm. That's cool. I like mean, he he's did everything running he needed to. it like it ain't yeah. shit. That's cool. Well, he, he beat it. He's the champ for like ten years now. So yeah, pretty much. Uh, right. Heavyweight will be fun. Heavyweight John Jones will be fun to watch. He'll do damage. He'll be the champ there too. Ooh, no big take. Is it though? Heavyweight is, is heavyweight's weird because like it just takes one of those big boys who just blah like just I mean, once, bro, and like you're out. I feel like he could run it. He could. Look he's got the reach. We've his, been talking about that forever. Look at his dominations over Daniel Cormier. Yeah, those are cake. Yeah, Damien was talking about that before. Those are cake. Uh, But I feel like I've always thought Daniel is not that good. I, me personally. I think DC's really good. Um. (laughs) All right. So while while we're on the topic of the UFC, uh, Cody actually caught the uh, most recent UFC 253. Um, Me and Damien were unable to catch it, so we're gonna allow Cody to kind of fill us in on that. Uh, give us like you know how he felt about the fights, like fights that he found interesting, like what we should expect moving forward, and then uh, we'll move on to the NFL. So it's up I mean, to you, bro. Let us know what happened. What's up? The two main fights really: Izzy versus Paulo. Everyone thought it was gonna be a war, just how Paulo fights, but he came out and was like super gun shy or something, expecting to can I don't know, kind of well, bait him in. Okay, so you think he was trying to bait him? He wasn't like nervous. He didn't or... fight the way he fought at all. Like, he fought like in a whole new way. Do you think it was by design? Yeah, I think he was just trying to make sure so he didn't gas out his five rounds. Uh, okay. Um, but no, Izzy just came out and tore his leg apart and just beat him down. Lots of like low leg kicks or yeah, what? A lot of leg kicks. Yeah. Uh, a lot of body kicks. And then he started going high with the kick, caught him with a kick, uh, and then just put him down. Yeah. Do you he remember how many rounds it went? Two. Two rounds? Yeah. Was it a KO? Yeah, it was TKO. TKO? Yeah. That's cool. It was just pure domination. Was it? So it wasn't even competition? No. It wasn't. Izzy got hit three times, I think. Wow. Yeah. Jesus. 
Okay. One, one jab and then two body kicks. <laughs> oh my God. What about the other fight? Uh, the co-main, that was uh, the light heavyweight championship because there was two championships. I love that. But Dom Reyes, I was expecting him to win against Jan Blahovich, right? However you say his last right, name. Right, right, right. Jan looked good. Dominic looked uh, gun shy or like he... Uh, he thought the his win over or his loss over John Jones because you know that he thinks he beat John Jones in the last fight. Right. And, um, that gave him was that the dude calls. that tore his knee up? No, that's Tiago. Okay. Santos, yeah. I thought that guy won that fight. I mean, if he didn't tear his knee, he right? Have, yeah. Right. That dude's a beast. But I thought Don was gonna win this one, but he just got fucked up too. So. So so they the both they weren't really close either one no, of them. They're, they're both total blowouts. Yeah. But well, that's kind of a pretty shame. Much the only really good fights on the card. There's another guy like Brandon Voival. He's pretty good. Uh, he submitted his dude. That was a war. They both knocked each other down like back to back. Oh, cool. cool. Yeah, those pretty much a standout fight though from the card. Okay, and you mentioned yeah. that the prelims were pretty uneventful. Yeah, they're just uh, prelim fights, you know, decisions and decisions. I think the prelims are the most fun. I mean, sometimes yeah. Because you like well, yeah. At least yeah. the times that I've watched, they've been insane. Because like. The talent level is a little more lopsided yeah. sometimes, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, when you start getting up, like, top five, top ten, like, you're like, all right, we're all, like, really seasoned, like, really educated, like, we all really know what we're doing, right? Yeah. But then, like, in the prelims, like, you don't know what's going to happen. And, like, I feel like that's what makes it fun. That's why, like, I love, like, I'll watch six hours of a UFC event because yeah. I'm like, I want to see this dude I've never seen before or heard of, like, fight this other dude who I've never seen or heard of before and, like, let's just see what fucking happens, you know what I mean? Yeah. The card there's like a card two weeks ago. The prelims on that. Yes, one yes, mm-hmm. really good. The, the last two card, cards have been yeah, great. They're yeah, all really good. and there's some good cards. Yeah, hell yeah, they're coming up. But yeah, that's pretty much it for that fight. Like those fights. Um, I feel that. Izzy, How, were you pleased with the card? Yeah, Izzy's gonna be unstoppable for years. Uh, I think uh, Jan will lose his title. Like, he's you think gonna, so? He's not gonna be able to defend it. That many times. So you, you think in general? So you like you think whoever the next challenger is or anything, they they probably won't be able to defend it. I mean, de- depend if they throw like Tiago Santos at him, that's like talked about if he uh, beat or wins his fight against Teixeira. Uh But Tiago beats Jan every day. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. There's not Jan's not going to defend it that many times. Maybe once. Maybe once. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Respect. Yeah, but Izzy will be there for, I think, years. Um. Fill me in on this. So, like, UFC has, like, their, their numbered events, right? Like, 252, 253, 254. But then they also have, like, fight nights, too, right? Which are, like, different. Like, what are those? The fight nights are just the free fights. The numbered ones are the pay-per-views that you got to pay for. Sure. Yeah. And then the fight nights, like, ESPN. Is that just, um, like, for, like, ranking purposes? Like, it's just, like, some of the lower-level fights? Are they just, like, exhibitions? Or, like... Like, they're... No. They're just, uh... I'm sorry, I'm a little uneducated, no, so I'm just fine. trying to understand. It's like um, you put like Connor on a pay per view card or like John Jones on a pay per view card, you know, to get money. But, so these are like, yeah, these like lower like tier guys. Yeah, I mean sometimes there's like you know top ten, five sure, days, top five, but uh, like the one. Uh, well, there's like a really ago. big fight night pretty recently, wasn't there? It was like two weeks ago. Yeah, it's Colby versus Tyron, and then uh, like they're two and four, like ranked two and four. So, oh wow! And that was a free fight on ESP- ESPN. <clears throat> no, they just do free fights every now and then, you know, draw more people probably to this. That's part. cool. We're trying to get into boxing a little bit too. Like Damien's like pretty into boxing. boxing. Yeah, too. Yeah, boxing is. Uh, we have a lot of discussions about boxing. Oh really? Oh yeah. Cool. Well then, maybe we could talk about that in the future too. I'm I'm kind of getting into it like a tiny bit, just because like Damien's kind of into it, and like whenever there has been like a big boxing fight, like I have watched it before and like had a good time. So yeah, yeah we definitely watch boxing. Do y'all know about the fight between uh, Eddie Hall and the Mountain? Uh. I mean, I've heard like rumors of. It. I've seen him training. Oh no, it's a, it, it's happening. It's happening. Yeah, 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 it's happening. It's next November, and um, they're both training on their YouTube channels. Like they're showing everything and all that stuff. And like we've talked about it in our previous episodes already, there's like a lot of beef between the two of them. Yeah. They're both world's strongest man winners. Yeah, like they both yeah. won world's strongest man well, before. Eddie Hall's huge. Yeah. They're both huge, yeah. and I do. I think Eddie Hall is gonna beat the shit out of them. Yeah, probably. He's training way harder. He yeah. built a boxing ring in his house. I'm excited to see the Tyson Roy Jones fight. Yeah, we were talking about that too. Tyson's gonna destroy him. I'm, right? I'm not excited to see it. I think that Roy is gonna get fucking. They also destroyed. do have some like weak ass rules associated with the cool. fight too. Bro, we're talking Tyson and Roy now. Roy's gonna get. Oh, Roy's nah. getting bro, fucked. Bro, Roy's gonna hop in his bag, bro. Not nah, bro. Yeah, bro. Roy's gonna hop in his bag. Bro, I feel like Roy's about sleep. to say, "I don't want to fight this dude." Like Tyson, he's literally. 
Man, I heard there's like a he's no knockout. He's so confused. Yeah, yeah. There's right like a no knockout rule, like it. a no like headshots rule or some shit or something stupid. Bro, man. Tyson's literally like he's stuck in his head, bro. And people are hyping him up, and I'm, I feel. Do you see him with Joe Rogan? I'm not huh? hyping him yeah, up. I'm that just a little. I see. I, I see all his mind frame everywhere he talks. I'm yeah. like, this guy is man. He's losing it. I just seen his training video, and I seen Roy Jones training video, and I was like. Ooh, I, <laughs> yikes! Bro, <what> the hell, <laughs> well, that's how I feel about Eddie Hall in the mountain Roy right now. Like, you look at their two training, you're like, yikes! Have you seen Roy fight Roy throughout his career. Roy has fought more so I, I like Roy Jones better than I like guy. Mike. Roy that's Jones my was like my favorite boxer for a very long time. He's my time. favorite boxer probably all time. Yeah, I think he'll knock. I think, I think he'll put the hands on him. I, I mean, we're about to see. I don't like, know if Mike has any defense. He don't. He just I don't come know in. But take any hits. his punches though. Years. Who can yeah. take his hits, bro? His but Roy shit. known to dodge a hit. I mean, yeah, but how many at this age, bro? <laughs> shit, dog. How many do you think he, he fought fought gonna dodge before, before Mike Tart? He fought. I mean, how shit. Many you gotta dodge until Mike I, Tart. I think as long as he, if he lasts, if he lasts a good minute, minute and a half. I Roy think Mike Tyson fine. only has a good fight if he's having a good fight. Because like Tyson, this, <laughs> if things don't go his way, I'm saying he's losing. Tyson got four, I think, four rounds to finish it. Man, not, Tyson, look. Yeah, I'm saying, get to the end of the fight, and it's like, Roy's going to be flying gonna around this guy. I, but they going to get so. to the end of the fight because apparently happens? they got to put on. What do I think happens? So you're saying, what if? What do you, what, what do you think happens? Oh, I think Roy wins the fight. You think So you think it goes late, and you think he dominates later on in the fight? Yeah, I think he's just a natural fighter like that. I, the way he fights is defensive, and... He's not looking to go in there and ch- chase Mike around. Right. Mike's going to be chasing That's him. That's true, around. though. He's going to be getting chased around, and he's going to look for his, his opportunities. Do so, you think this impacts our legacy at all? Probably mm-hmm. not, right? No, this not is, at this point. At this point, they're it's just past that. Money. Yeah, right. I it's, mean, they like, everyone knows yeah, what this is, right? Money. Yeah. Uh, if Mike Tyson he's wins, broke, he yeah. says he does want to fight like a heavyweight. So, oh, let him win. Let's if you were to win, then Mike Tyson could possibly try to fight somebody new. He'll never win. He so, even I don't think he'd. Him. I don't think he'd win. The I mean, heavyweight right now. The oh last time God. he tried, he got his don't, ass don't beat. Don't mark this guy. <laughs> Tyson Fury. He got smashed the last couple yeah. times he tried. Uh, Gosh, he said he wanted Anthony to fight Tyson. Tyson, yeah. Tyson Fury. Shit, Andy Ruiz will put the hands on Mike Man, right now. I, yeah, I don't. He'll fire his ass <laughs> up. I and mean, Andy Ruiz can't even, <laughs> he ain't even like that. Imagine, exactly. Imagine he Mike not. He Deontay. not. <laughs> I know Deontay put that paw. Man, boy, catch this. Man, Wait, look, you, we've talked about <laughs> this, Tyson Fury beats all bro. Deontay's my boy. Deontay shit. Deontay's oh, my boy. Shit. Don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> Deontay's not shit. Hey, I, I, look at this I, I look, fucking Deontay's guy. Trash. Deontay <laughs> is my boy, bro. He has one punch. And, and, it's all right though. So we, they, this rematch too. is set to supposed to happen. Anthony oh, Dodge they're doing they're doing the third. He was like, they said it's supposed to happen. Oh my, my suit was too heavy. That's why I lost. So supposedly there's a whole bunch of this evidence. We talked about. I was still working with him at the time we were talking about. There was a bunch of evidence that came out that the water team had about Tyson Fury cheating with his gloves and shit. They they, they they proved that wrong. They're like, look. Let's just do the third fight and let's leave it at that. Yeah, so Tyson's I'm excited because, <laughs> bro, from the first fight, Tyson which Deontay held his own and knocked that nigga down Tyson, easily. Tyson beat him in that fight. In the second fight, Tyson was just molly whopping this thing, and I was like, "What the fuck going on?" So Confused. to me, I thought it was weird as hell that he was, was just beating his ass like that in the first time he could. <laughs> I thought it was weird. People say he didn't cheat. Also, I felt like it's a little weird because he was getting his ass whooped the first fight, and then he just looked way. More dominant. Well, so I don't think he got his, his ass whooped first right. in the first fight, though. Like, he had that one knockdown, and then, like, that was it. Fight. Tyson I'm, beat that ass in the first fight. I mean, we're going to go with the third fight, though. They oh, said yeah. the third is supposed to happen. The first so. fight was, like, right after his comeback, though. That's he was right. super. He was like 400 pounds. I'm alright with that. Right. I'm alright with that. And he came and back like at 370. He was, he was still the, big as yeah. fuck. He was still yeah, big as fuck the second one. Well, fight. it was I calculated like he was fucking cheap. Plus, with like three other fights he fought. Right. You know, so he came actually prepared this time and beat his ass. It's right. gonna happen even quicker. I don't know. I mean, He's probably gonna do the same shit the second see. time. We're gonna see. Third time, I guess. I'm telling you, Wilder not about to lose a third fight to this guy. Wilder's not losing a third fight to this guy, and Wilder will knock Joshua bitch ass out too. Fuck no. no. Andy no, Ruiz, no, all them niggas can catch it, bro. Joshua, if if, if Joshua, bro, if Joshua Ooh. get caught by Ooh. Andy Ruiz, <laughs> he is not trying to see no shit from Deontay, bro. Sit that right, shit down, bro. Andy Ruiz even hit him. Boy, Andy Ruiz throwing throwing belly gut punches, boy. This is Deontay's thing. Deontay is gonna rip your goddamn neck off with this torpedo. He's got body. Man, look. That, there was a he did. 
He did, I but th- yeah. that's also like playing a person for the first time and then going back and being able to game plan. That first time you wasn't ready, Josh. Are you a weak as hell? Got your ass Deontay demolished. It'll be the same thing going against the De- Deontay. He'll, he'll you don't know. Him. You think Wild, he just got Wilder the right? Camp you still box. gonna get caught though. Water camp, but box. he still catch you though. Everybody say he can't box, but everybody get caught by the right. So how can those make sense? How can those make sense? He can't box, but he catching. You catch everybody him. with that hole. Not anymore. You catching everybody. Right. Tyson everybody. even got caught with it. What you mean? One time. Yeah, once. It right. does, he still got right. caught. Right. Caught Bro, the there's time. one fight. Deontay does not catch nobody. And everybody like, well, damn. But like, fuck all the other 40 fights again? you caught everybody. Well, if he can't box, how does he catch you? That's what happened. That's what happened. Well, right. Bro. Right. right. So, right. so, so right. he's just getting lucky then. That's what y'all are saying. All his fights. No, you can only fight who's in front of you. But like, he hadn't fought anyone. people out. That's his only. He's not. He's only doing it one way, and it's the only way he knows how to fight, and it's not effective against better fighters. But how's it not effective if it's happened to every single person, including that same person, except for the last time? I know. Except the first person that said, I'm not going to let you do that. Oh, bro. And how okay. are you going to win now? Well, and I guess we're going to no, see the third no fight. Alternative. He's a one-trick buddy. Oh, we're going to see the third fight. I know. Uh, it, it, it hasn't been box. stopped. Right. I don't know how we can talk shit about it because it's been stopped one time. But out of 40 plus times, it hasn't been stopped. But since it happened one well, time. Well, this was for the title. Anthony though. Joshua's only lost oh one fight God, as well. Bro. All these guys are like this. Except Dega Box. All right, bro. All these guys only lose one fight to the, to the to greater fighters. But So where do the greater fighters come from for you in boxing? If we're talking heavyweight right now, it's just Fury, Anthony Joshua, and Wilder. Those are all the good No, boxers. I'm talking about overall. What are the best fighters come from? What do you mean? What do you, I don't understand. Yeah, what do you asking? So, do they come from the UK? Do they come from America? Do they come from... What do they come from? Yeah. Because that's so what either. matters. Where do they come from? What do the best fighters come from? Why does that matter? I would say the best fighters... What do you mean, why does that matter? Why that does that, that matter? makes all the difference are, are because... You, are you How? saying that all the best fighters Well, we start America, talking about Anthony yeah, Josh and all them, they only fight in the UK. Oh, so you're saying they fight in like different like They fight in their own shit. They don't be over here fighting Americans. They be over there fighting their own shit. So, of course, they look good as fuck. Andy Ruiz? is American. That's the last person he's fought. So, uh, twice. so that's what I'm saying. I know, and, and so, and we saw how that went. I know he, he got his ass destroyed that first time when he came his ass it, over here. What? What? Hold him. on. So hold on. Hold on. <laughs> You're telling me that first <laughs> fight, Andrew Ruiz versus Joshua, him. he did not destroy that guy. He, he underestimated. He got, he got caught like oh him, and oh, then he guys, paid for it guys. by not being able to box well because his ass was yeah, shook no, up. Andrew Ruiz on. beat That's what I'm saying, his ass. No, listen, he got destroyed, but that hap- like that only happens once out of every a million times. He I know. Okay, Joshua. and it's because he got oh. caught. Okay, yeah. so so they have to get caught one time. I can say the same thing. Yeah, but yeah, I'm but just see, saying. Deontay's but we're talking about people that come box. See, but, but how can y'all say that, though? Because Well, y'all like a fighter that's not even from America. Because he came back and he fought the come same guy on, and he outboxed bro. him. He didn't get touched the whole fight. Your guy came back that, and got his ass whooped. In the ring. Okay, so, Yikes. but it's the so, same flip-flop. But he's not. <laughs> it's the same. He doesn't go to camp and learn how to box. He goes to camp and says, he don't land this knockout punch. Right. That's all that matters. Right. It's not how you come in the ring and fight. So, look, it's, it's, it's worked so far. I agree with what you're saying. It makes 100, 100% sense. But Deontay ain't been getting beat. So, I know. I'm all right with him so having that method people, if it works. Now people it are realizing works. with Deontay, he doesn't have the It's an unorthodox right. method, but it works. Well, well you know, we're we, gonna we find can't out. say it don't work because he lost one fight. We're like, going to find out we after, can't say after that, the third bro. fight. Like, yeah. I'm saying it don't it work soon, on bro. these guys. It works on anybody. Well, but I bet they're going to see because it worked the first fight, which I thought Deontay won. Fury did not dominate him like that. The second fight didn't, so now they both go back, and so I think the third fight decides it all. It, I think. Yeah, we'll, we'll find out after the third fight. Because the first fight, the, the Fury didn't come out and just beat Deontay ass. He outboxed him the whole fight, except a couple times we got dropped. Yeah, the couple yeah. times he got his ass slid, right? I mean, so, I mean. Two punches. Oh. <laughs> I mean, the third fight going to happen, we're about to see. He didn't land one, like, barely anything right. on Fury this time. 